How's it going team? This is Eddie Gray. Welcome to the channel, The Modern Creative, where we help you become a Logic Pro Power user. Today, we are gonna to be covering the latest and the greatest from Logic Pro. As always, if you enjoy the content, be sure to subscribe as I will be dropping exclusive content for all things Logic Pro and all things music production. Today, Apple dropped 10.7.5 and it is surreal how good it is. Here are some of the things that I will be covering in this video. The addition of 32-bit floating point support, personalized spatial audio, which allows you to customize your spatial audio experience, nested track stacks, which will give you a lot more flexibility when it comes to routing in Logic, single stomp box plugins. This one came out of nowhere. Apple dropped a bomb, and here I am just super excited to cover this. Gain tool a much needed utility upgrade in Logic Pro. This gain tool will allow you to adjust the overall gain value of audio regions. 10.7.5 has also added two new sound packs in Logic Pro, so we're definitely gonna take a listen to those. Last but not least, Ableton Link. This is a cataclysmic change. Logic Pro users everywhere can now use Ableton Link to jam out with other DAWs and other applications as well. Stay tuned until the end of the video to see this at work. Okay, so there's a lot to cover, so let's get after it. Let's first talk about the compatibility for 10.7.5. The minimum requirement for Logic Pro 10.7.5 is Mac OS Monterey version 12 or later. So go ahead and say goodbye to Big Sur and all the previous versions of the operating software because Monterey and the highly anticipated Ventura have definitely taken over. 32-bit floating point. The addition of 32-bit in Logic Pro is long overdue. When delivering files to mixing and mastering engineers, you want to give them the very best files possible. This new upgrade allows you to deliver the best files as they have a high dynamic resolution which basically makes it impossible to introduce any clipping. Very stoked about this feature because now we can import, export, and bounce files in 32-bit floating point in Logic Pro. Organization just got a major upgrade as we can now use nested track stacks. In the past, you could not group a track stack within a track stack without practicing some kind of routing wizardry. You see, when you create a track stack, Logic Pro automatically creates an auxiliary track and then it routes those individual tracks to that aux track that you just created. And if you tried to nest another group within a group, you were simply rejected. Now though, you have all kinds of flexibility. You can couple that with folder stacks and routing in Logic Pro is now savage. I do a lot of writing and mixing in Logic Pro, so I am very elated about this much needed feature. This subject could be a video series in and of itself, but I figured I would touch on it briefly. Most of us are in the know about spatial audio. Well, this new upgrade allows you to customize that experience to the shape of your big head. <laughs> Seriously though, everyone has a very unique way of listening based on a lot of factors, including the shape of your actual ears. This update allows you to create a personalized spatial audio profile where you can inform the tech on how you best can experience spatial audio. Now, just a heads up, you will need an iPhone with a true depth camera running iOS version 16 or later. Go to the settings app on your iPhone to create the personalized spatial audio profile. You'll be prompted to scan your head from various angles. From here, your profile is automatically used when listening to spatial audio on your supported headphones like AirPods Pro, or AirPods Pro Max. Something to think about is that once you get this set up on your iPhone, you cannot toggle between standard spatial audio and personalized spatial audio. Mac OS 13 Ventura or higher is required to use the personalized spatial audio profile on your Mac. In his latest book, Edgar Rothermich says, the personalized spatial audio profile that you create on your iPhone is linked to your Apple ID and any device that supports the personalized spatial audio profile and is logged into the same Apple ID is automatically using that profile. 
If you want to hear this at work in Logic Pro using binaural audio, make sure to select your AirPods Pro as your output device in your Logic Pro settings. This used to be called the Logic Pro Preferences, but as of this latest update, they have switched it up. The new name is Logic Pro Settings, not Logic Pro Preferences. The project settings will remain the same. Pedal board users in Logic Pro will now be happy to see the reimagined single Stompbox plugins. This seems to be a growing trend in the plugin market, and Apple has brought their unique twist as they always do. Not much to say here. I encourage you to look for these, start jamming with them right away. These Stompbox plugins are available in mono, stereo, dual mono, and multi mono modes. My personal favorites are. There is a new addition to the tools in Logic Pro, the Gain Tool. This allows you to quickly and effectively change the gain value in audio regions. Whereas before you had to go to the region inspector, make these changes, you can now use this tool to make those changes in a snap. This is definitely a gain changer. See what I did there? New to Logic Pro are these two sound packs. You can find them in the library in Logic Pro. Beat tape and also modular rhythms. All right, guys, Ableton Link implementation. This is absolutely next level. I cannot believe that we have made it to this point. The fact that we can connect Logic Pro to Ableton or other DAWs and other apps that utilize this Ableton Link technology is absolutely mind blowing. So, so think of it like this you can have Logic Pro on and you can bring a friend over and he's got his own laptop and you guys can jam together and then somebody else can come over and use their iphone to open up an app let's say like one of the uh, novation apps out there i mean there's a bunch of them but the fact that you can connect everything in an integral way is absolutely mind-boggling I hope you enjoyed this video on Logic Pro 10.7.5. Of course, if you enjoy the content, go ahead and like the video. Be sure to subscribe and all that stuff. But here's the important part. If you enjoy the content and you would like to learn more, go ahead and support the work of Edgar Rothermich. You can find his books on his website and also on Amazon. Take care of yourself. Thank you so much for watching. I'll definitely catch you on the next one.